Hello, and welcome to the AB Youth Media Debate of 2017. Today we have the Truth Seekers and the Big Baller Brand, along with our esteemed judges. Hello. I am the great peanut maker, Lord of the EU Nation. I am Crazy Hat Dude, the guy with too many hats. And I'm Rick. All right. Now, the first topic we will be debating is old rap versus new rap. Um, I'm not even sure what quantifies as old rap and new rap, but these guys obviously do. So, Ben, come and get the timer started. Yeah, yeah. Here's the first time. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Each team will have one minute to state their opening arguments, starting as soon as Ben figures out how the magic of a phone works. Well, I'm sorry, but it's, it's locked. Three. Two, one, start. All right, so we are debating that new rap is better, and our primary point of focus is that it relates more to the modern era as your rap, which I think you're considering 90s. It would be more about 90s problems wouldn't really relate to as much of society, where mm -hmm. we look at today's modern ones, and it relates to everyday values and yeah. even things that wouldn't have been around in, in the 90s. And so not only that, but 90s rap, despite, now I'm not, I'm gonna say that 90s, um, in the 90s there was also a lot of controversy throughout the world, but 90s rap fails to mention a lot of it, and rather the rappers like to brag about how rich they are, unlike the rappers of today, while they do do that, not as at large a scale as the 90s rappers do. Yeah. Yep, we still have about 10 seconds, so also like to fill that up, and also, People were slightly more offensive back then, so if you were listening to some things, you might be a little disheartened by some of the language that they might use. All right, that is all the time you have, Big Baller Brand. And I realized I forgot to mention that you guys would be going first, so you guys are going first. Now, we will have the Truth Seekers with their one minute opening argument. Three, two, one, start. I'd say that um, because uh, due to uh, new rap I've heard, from what I've heard, has just been about people bragging about what they have, but old rap, when I listen to it, it's about uh, the struggle that people go through when they um, live in these poorer areas, and I think that that was, that's the main reason, that's how rap formed, was because these people lived in these poor areas, and that's what they rap about back then. Um, also, I'd like to say that um, old rap sort of formed new rap in a way, because you have um, people coining terms that people use in new rap today um, that the people in the old rap in the old rap community coined. You want to say anything, Max? Uh, the old rap was pioneering. People were still just learning about. It was a new, exciting medium. But by the time now that we've got to modern day new rap, it's just. It's just I'm tired. sorry, but you're going to have to finish your argument there. It seems that our time is up for the um, opening section. Ben, can you please stop the timer? Yeah. And now each team will have a one minute rebuttal, starting with the big baller brand. Ben, will you please start the timer? Yeah, yeah. So Max, uh, at the end of your opening statement, you mentioned how modern rap is getting tiring. But I would like to um, go against that by saying on the Spotify uh, top 50 charts, the top 10 songs are always all rap songs. You're getting Bodak Yellow, you have Rockstar by Post Malone. You have all these excellent rap songs that everybody listens to, and that's over the pop music that, that comes out today. And what I'm saying, though, is that it's not about what pioneered what. We're listening about what is better to listen to today. Mm -hmm. Because you can look at old classical music that might have pioneered some later better music and you'd rather listen to the later better music. So what we're trying to say is is that it's what's best today. Mm -hmm. And what you're saying about everyone's bragging about like material things, while, while that is true, there's a lot more variety now. So you will hear people rapping about some stuff like you know, so some people are rapping about like mental health and um, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, but you are out of time. Ben, please come stop the timer. No, I, I can do it. Half time is roasting your opponent. All right, 
now the big baller brand has had their chance to rebut. It is now the truth seeker's <laughs> turn. So I need someone to start the timer. <coughs> I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. <coughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right, you may start. Okay, uh, so I want to start off by saying uh, modern day rap, uh, I said this in my intro, it's not about um, the struggle that people go through in these uh, sort of poor districts of cities. It's more about people bragging about how they're... It's more about how people are bragging about how they're uh, richer than other people. Um, I think part of this has to do with how... Uh, like you said, modern day rap, it repeatedly hits the top of the charts. Whereas back in the 90s, rap was sort of the new thing. It's an underground movement and people could talk about like what they really thought. But now that it's got such a huge audience, it sort of has to be watered down mm -hmm. for the average Joey on the street. Right, yeah. I think um, when it was uh, first introduced, rappers could say whatever they want, which you said was controversial and that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. I think rap is about expressing what you believe no matter what it is. All right, and we are out of time for rebuttals. So now I would like the button presser to come. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? Can I start? What am I? Thank you. All right, <laughs> now there are Wait, going to be two minutes for a free for all time. Oh minutes. God, here we go. Three, two, one, you may both begin. Now, what I have to say is people fail to realize that we are in a golden age when it comes to hip hop music. You see all the top rappers of this era. Many people say Kanye West may be the greatest hip hop artist to ever live. You have Kendrick Lamar, and you have so many great other rappers, Nicki Minaj, Eminem, all these excellent rappers who are just kind of defining hip hop itself. And we are in somewhat of a golden age. And uh, well, I'm not saying it r old rap is bad. I'm saying new rap nowadays is in this kind of renaissance. I, I think that um, when you said Eminem, I I don't think that Eminem would count as a modern day rapper, rap artist. He uh, he sort of became popular huh? back then. Yeah. It's not he's not more of a well, modern rapper now. I think the main he, he shows up in he shows up in uh, songs that he doesn't sort of. Uh, Right, he, sh he shows up as the backup vocalist almost. Um, how do I say it? Like if you, like Monster uh, with... Um, Rihanna. Yeah, with Rihanna. He's, he's not um, main lyric. Well, Rihanna only does the chorus. He does everything else. Right, but it's not like he's... This is not his um, yeah, this isn't own... About, this thing. isn't about Eminem. And what I'm saying also is that the modern day has more variety so there are people who are still emulating the 90s style while compared to the 90s where yes they had a lot of good good rap but there was a, a lot less of it when you compare it to modern day there's there's variety for everyone there yes there is mainstream but there is also a lot of independent people yeah. who, who aren't nearly as famous mm -hmm. who are allowed to express would you would you yeah. say that a uh, higher variety of Quantity, yes. like I think you were gonna quality say, quality over quantity. Quality over yeah, quantity. Yeah, no, no. There's it, there's a higher quantity, but it's of a lower quality. Yes, I think Overall. that there's I think that there's a lot of rap, and a lot of it is Whoa. just sort of not. I think sound I, mixing and stuff has in, has improved though. Yeah, yeah. and people have worked well, together more. Thank you to all of you, but we're out of time sadly, so I think we'll have to turn it over to our judges. Well, like before we begin, I must announce that in the time that you have seen like me, I have ascended mm -hmm. to Ira Chair -sit Sitter, Overlord of the Moon Folk. Anyway, um, I thought that the. What was that being called again? Wait, the brother Big yes, Baller yes, Brand? Yes. I thought that the new rap uh, was definitely much better as evidenced by their argument. Well, I'm Crazy Hat Guy, as you know, and honestly, I don't really listen to very much rap, but from the argument, I can, I really see, I feel like new rap is the way to go. Let's just hear what Rick has to say now. Um, once again, like Eli, or Crazy Hat Guy, um, I don't listen to much rap either. 
and you put up both put up pretty good arguments, but I agree with new rap, and because we have a lot more quality, we have a lot more quantity, and the quality has gone up with all the sound mis- mixing and stuff. So, I guess new raps are winner. Alrighty, new rap wins three to zero. New rap now has one out of three arguments won. Or big baller bread, my bad. <laughs>